Hey guys, it's Wolf coming at you guys with something a little bit different and I'm going to just be ranting a little bit while there's Dirty Bomb gameplay going on in the background. I know that some of you guys are really interested in Dirty Bomb, so that's why I have it as gameplay. So what I wanted to touch on was teachers that only come to work just to get their check and leave and not actually putting towards effort into actually teaching the student. I mean, some of us really want to learn and really want to get out there and get our dream job, but some of those teachers don't actually put in the effort to actually First, teach us. So it really sucks when you get a teacher that doesn't put towards any time towards his or her students. So that can end up really costing us our education and everything. Those teachers who just come for the paychecks are probably the worst things we want. And some of these teachers wonder why some of these students don't respect them. Because there could be some teachers that really don't care if a kid gets his education or not. They're just here for the check. Don't get me wrong, I know most teachers aren't like this, but most of them are. And that's the part that really got on my nerves when I was in classes, is the teachers that just put math equations up on a board and don't explain it at all to the student just thinking oh they're smart enough they can get it they'll come up here and ask me it's like no not all students are brave enough or even wanting to talk to a certain teacher or anybody at that so that's why we depend on a teacher to actually get up there and teach us it's just really annoying how most of the teachers become lazy but I won't lie, there's a lot of teachers out there who actually want to teach students, who actually enjoy having fun with their students, and actually most of the time don't know what to do, but the students help them out just because the students respect that teacher for trying and trying to get us our education. But I'll be honest, I had a teacher who would just put up math equations and just sit there and just give us a time limit and... If we're not done, we just have to turn it in and that's it. And that's mostly some of the reasons why I didn't really get math because even when I would ask them, could they explain it, like actually go in depth and explain it, they would be clueless or tell me to ask another student to help. And I would think to myself, aren't you the teacher? Aren't you supposed to be teaching me, not another student? And I know this is difficult and all, but don't get me wrong. I know teaching is not easy, not the funnest thing in the world for most people, but at least put towards the effort so other people can start off a business that you can get into like this. Teach your student, he goes off, creates a business, then you, the teacher, could probably move on to that business that he starts, that he or she starts. It's just, I just don't get it at all. But I know, I know, it's not easy. Life is not simple, but at least try and put more effort into trying to teach these people. I've even had a teacher legit say that she's only there for her check and that's it. Like me having that woman as a freaking teacher really pissed me off because I could have had a more engaging teacher who would like really sit down with me and, and really have a one-on-one -on -one with me so I can actually learn something. I only had like, I don't know, four teachers? No, wait, hold on. Probably like eight teachers growing up who actually wanted to teach and who actually did a good job at it. Now seeing that schools are starting to recruit better teachers, I kind of wish I would have waited for school if that was the case because, you know, I would have had a better edu education if these schools would have recruited the right people. I know not a lot of people are going to go into teaching, but I wish a lot more people would so we can actually do something with our lives. Because you never know, that can probably add on to more teachers and teaching people new things so new jobs can open so we can have a better economy and all that. And then there are those teachers who clearly try to sidetrack themselves from teaching by telling all these random stories. But most of the teachers that I've had sometimes tell us these stories but still get the job done by the end of the day, get us through all of our lessons. I had a teacher 
in college named Mike and he was an amazing teacher. He actually taught us everything we wanted to know. He got through most of everything he was assigned to us to give us. That's the thing. I mean, he even he got sidetracked with stories and everything. But at the end of the day, that man got everything we needed done. That it's great to take a break and everything and tell us these stories about your life, but just sometimes get the work done. It's great to take a break, but but if you're a teacher who literally tells a story through like 80% of the class and say, oh, we don't have enough time to finish the rest of the lesson. We'll carry on tomorrow. Then we would be behind on work. Now, those teachers are really those who try not to sidetrack themselves or do it by accident or try and do it on purpose. Those who do it on purpose, it's just really annoying. But those who do it by accident, it, it's completely understandable. You get sucked into your past, but the sometimes the students want you to actually work on it. Do listen to the student, do save the story for another time or when you have extra time. I already know some people out there aren't going to fully agree with me on this subject, but for most of us, this problem has constantly happened through our lives so many times that some of us have not called it out, but most of us have. Guys, do call out your teacher if they're acting this way. Try and get them to actually teach you. Try to get them to put in the effort because it will help you by a mile. If they actually teach you, get the extra help you need. Get some extra classes if you guys can stay after school and get all the work done if you guys can do that get with a teacher who actually wants to teach you and if she's not even in your subject you can still ask and she or he will probably still help you out as much as they can if the other teacher isn't doing their job right so with that said guys that's the end of my rant and i will see you guys in another rant video maybe this is just something i'm trying on my channel so I hope you guys enjoy it. If you agree and want to share this with anyone else, go for it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. I'm out, bro. Fuck you. Fuck you guys. I'm out. I'm out. Can't see me. Can't see me. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought I could run there. No. Okay, I'm going to have to. That's welcoming. Thanks. Thanks for that. No, really. Thanks. Come here. Oh, don't do it. Oh my god.